Welcome back everyone. In this video, we will design a responsive nowbar using ReactJS with the help of Tailwind CSS. So it will look like this, okay, whenever you would like to create a responsive uh, nowbar for your website using ReactJS. So I will just teach you in this video. Look at it will look like this whenever you expand it. So it will look like this for mobile devices. Close it back. So let's do it. We will use ReactJS with the help of Tailwind CSS. So I have opened the ReactJS. Now let's write our code inside ReactJS. I will create a separate component for the nowbar. Then I will import that inside after JSX. So let's come here to the components folder. Right click on this new file. And we will name it nowbar.jsx. Or AFCE to write the uh, default code. Now inside this I will just write my code. So let's change this to nowbar. And down from this we will have a div element. And inside this div element, I will create now the uh, uh, no bar elements. So first of all, we have a logo and we have uh, the elements, okay, the links. So let's design that. Uh, this is just for uh, the logo design. So let's just a simple write. Like P tag, we can make it logo. Or we can change this fan tag. Here we will add the class name text like 2xl font bold and also to this one we will add the class name class name text I justify between and down from this we will have our links so here let's list our links so we can just list our links like a tag simple a tag this is the home Contact about gallery like this. Okay, so our uh, React app is running. So let's check it. Okay, just come here, look at back. So let's import it inside the app that G6. So after importing it, now let's check it. Okay, by default, it looks like this. Okay, this is logo and this is the text. The uh, links so just come here and we have flex uh, this is flex not a spelling mistake justify between so now it will looks like this okay at the right side and at the left side so after that let's add now space so just come here and last name here i can add bg uh do 500 and just come here and add here text white well you can do like this okay so it looks like this better so now let's just increase the size and also i will add the spaces so the spaces will be px it means for smaller devices first of all okay for the smaller devices adding from right and left side will be like that is four md uh adding will be for um, larger devices 8 okay for larger devices 8 but we can just increase it to 20 make it here like just adding free adding it okay, md padding it so it looks like this okay so now let's just design these links also last name uh, space x it means space between uh, horizontal space between these elements okay between these elements would be like four so look at it looks like this that is better and uh let's just uh, add padding to this okay uh, padding y will be like one now uh, we can just increase it one five five find one that is okay. It looks like this is just the uh, Tailwind CSS design that you can use. Let's add class name to these uh, elements also. Class name H over. It will change the BG to to uh, six hundred. That's it. Okay. It looks like this. Uh, but instead of let's add padding to this. Padding Y. Uh, padding Y would be like one point five. Adding X will be like uh, 4. Okay, let's remove this padding. I have added to the legs. 
that okay so start now putting white this one and also let's bring the uh, items to the center items the center now that is okay items are at the center we can also place the items here to the center items center just by even looks like better so after doing this now uh, let's move and make it responsive okay we have created this design let's make it responsive how we can do that so for that let's just come here and here we will have an icon uh, down from this so we will have just an icon down from these lengths it's uh, that's that would be like a length span tag the first icon is like you can use the react icons or any other svg icon but i will simply use this icon this these three bars okay and i will have a second icon also which is x okay so here whenever i uh, resize it to the mobile so i will display this one by default okay this one so whenever i click on that so then i will just uh, display this one so let's first of all add class name to this then this would be hidden for a mobile device for a medium devices so md uh, by default this is hidden and md uh, sorry or uh, by default this is hidden okay so just come here hidden uh that is a by default this is hidden uh back uh, md hidden okay for medium devices this is hidden and also this one md hidden okay so let's now decrease it so okay we can see those just for mobile devices let's go back okay we cannot see the those for tablet or for the um desktop devices now whenever we uh, we will just hide these links on mobile devices so how we can hide these let's just come here and here i will add um our mobile devices we would be uh, like hidden md black that's it okay this is the code that you see let's do it our mobile devices we cannot see those look at okay so now for these links by default we will display this link okay so this should be hidden so we will add a state variable okay to manage this const is active sit is active so by default that is false so just come here now if this was false okay so we will display this one okay we will display uh, uh if that was false we will display this icon if that was true then we will display this icon so let's do it okay uh, just come here and let's wrap our code pro curly braces and also add these uh, okay back tick notation that's it okay i have added that now apple um, is active if that was true so then i will hide this okay hidden else it should be black and just come here and here i will add also if is active was true so then i will add black else hidden that's it now check it so look at we cannot see that okay by default that is uh by default we can see just this icon now whenever we click and this icon we will change that to back to the x icon to the close icon okay so for that just come here and here i will add to this pen tag and click sit is active not is active okay if the active was uh 
true so it will change that to back to far it means let's change that to the far true okay that good and here whenever i click and this one the second link on click simply set as active uh, make that false that's it okay now let's check it uh, we cannot see that let's just here add the make it anonymous function a row function that is sit that's it let's click this so look at that has changed back click it back it click it look at you can see the changes so now whenever we click this so we should display the uh, links for mobile devices so for the mobile devices i uh, just come here and down from this here we will have a div element so here i will just write like if is active was true so then i will display these links okay let's simply write like the end sign if it was true so then we will display this code div element inside this div element we will have these links yes then and now let's add classes to this div element last name so this is by default uh, by default for mobile devices this is uh, the display is black but for medium devices the display is hidden md hidden let's now check it let's click it so look at we can see the links but the links are uh, let's change the links to just come here and here i will add flex flex column and add a space y four look at you can see the link take it back look at that has changed back you can see that that was simple you can also add here uh, change the text color let's change the text color to white text white and also what else we need to add is that to add the margin top okay margin top would be like uh, yeah, margin top would be like four. Right, that's it. Look at, take that back, click that. Look at, it looks like this for larger devices, for smaller devices. That's it. Okay, so it was all about a responsive no bar using React case with the help of Kelvin CSS. Okay, that was very simple that we have created by using React. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.